Hello there everyone, mabuhay. This is Larry and for today's video is the continuation of our topic in arithmetic sequence or the part 2 on arithmetic sequence. But before we proceed, please feel free to watch and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you will be notified for our next video. So today we will be discussing arithmetic sequence part 2. Okay, so the first term of an arithmetic sequence is A. So we denote the first term of arithmetic sequence as A. We are going to add D or the common difference to get the next term. We, are, we already discussed this matter on the previous video. There is a pattern. If we add the common difference to, the, to each term, we will form a pattern. Therefore, if we have a pattern, there is a formula that we can use to give us any term that we need without listing the whole sequence. So, uh, it is hard to determine the term of a sequence by listing or by adding the common difference, especially if we are looking for the 100th term, 14th term, 50th term. So, we have the formula to use to determine the value of the term that we are looking for. Let's say, for example, we have the given 3, 7, 11, 15. So we know that A, or our first term, A sub 1, is equal to 3. And D, or the common difference, is equal to 4 because 7 minus 3 is 4. Our T sub 1, or is equal to A, is equal to... 3. Our t sub 2, or the second term, we are going to add the common difference to the first term. So 3 plus the common difference, which is 4, equals 7. And to determine the third term, we are going to add a common difference and another common difference. So by using common factors, so how many common differences we have? Two. So we have a plus 2d, which is equal to 3 plus 2 times 4, which is our d, which is equal to 3 plus 8 equals 11. So to determine our fourth term, we are going to do the same. So we have three common difference. So a plus 3d is equal to 3 plus 3 times 4, which is equal to 15. The first term of an arithmetic sequence is a. We add the common difference to get the next term. There is a pattern. Therefore, there is a formula. Explicit formula. We can use to give use any term that we need without listing the whole sequence. So, the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is given by the formula t sub n equals a plus the quantity n minus 1 times the d. Wherein t sub n is the last number in the sequence or the number you are looking for. It could be the last number or it could be the number we are looking for. A is our first term. N is the position the term is in. So the value of N in T sub N is also the value of N in N minus 1. Of course, 1 is constant and D, of course, is the common difference. So in order for you to easily understand, let's have an example. Find the fourth term of the arithmetic sequence 4, 7, 10, and 13. Remember, you are looking for the term. So we are going to simply use the formula t sub n equals a plus quantity n minus 1 times d. So the first thing that we need to do is to determine our first term and our n and our common difference. Since we are looking for the 14th term, our n is equal to 14. And our a is the first number written on the sequence, which is 4, plus our n, which is 14 minus 1, and the common difference, 7 minus 4 is 3, which is equal to 4 plus 14 minus 1 is 13 times 3. 
4 plus 13 times 3 is 39. So we have 4 plus 39 equals 43. So the 14th term in this sequence is the number 43. Let's have another example. Find the 14th term of the arithmetic sequence with first term of 5 and the common difference is negative 6. So this time, the sequence is not given. But as you notice, the first term and the common difference is already given. So we are going to use the same formula. You are looking for the term. List which variables from the general term are provided. So our first term is 5 and our common difference is negative 6. Using the formula, p sub n equals a plus the quantity n minus 1 times d, our n is 14. So we have p sub 14 equals, uh, equals 5 plus n minus 1 and our n is 14 minus 1 times negative 6. Which is equal to 5 plus 14 minus 1 is 13 times negative 6. So 13 times negative 6 is negative 78. So 5 plus negative 78 is negative 73. So, so the fourth term in this sequence is the number negative 73. Now you try. Find the 10th and 25th term given the following information. Make sure to derive the general formula first and then list that you have been provided. So you have to derive the formula first. So in order for you to have much time in solving this example, please, um, you are allowed to pause the video for a while. Okay, now let us try to answer the activity. So remember, we are looking for the 10th and the 25th term. So it is very important that you, you derive the formula first so that it is easier for you to determine the terms that we are looking for. So given the sequence 1, 7, 13, and 19, we are going to determine the first term, and that is 1. And the common difference is 7 minus 1, which is equal to 6. And using the formula, t sub n equals a plus the quantity n minus 1 times d, which is equal to 1, plus n minus 1 times 6, which is equal to 1, distribute 6 to n. So we have 6 plus 6n, distribute to 6 to negative 1, so we have negative 6. So our general formula is t sub n equals 6n minus 5. And then we are going to look for the 10th term. We are going to use t sub 10 equals 6 times 10 minus 5 equals 55. So our 10th term is 55. Next, followed by t sub 25, which is equal to 6 times 25 minus 5, which is equal to 145. So the first term is 3, and the common difference is negative 21. So our a is equal to 3, our common difference is negative 21. We are going to derive the formula again. So that is 3 plus n minus 1 minus 21 times negative 21, which is equal to 3, distribute negative 21 to n minus 1, and that is 3 minus 21 n plus 21. So the general formula for this is t sub n equals 24 minus 21 n. So get for to get t sub 10, using the general formula, we have 24 minus 21 times 10, which is equal to negative 186 and T sub 25 is equal to 24 minus 21 times 25, which is equal to negative 501. The second term is 8, and the common difference is 3. So this time, the first term is not given. So A is equal to 8 minus 3, which is equal to 5. So our first term is 5, and our common difference is simply 3. So using the formula, we have 5 plus n minus 1 times 3, Distribute 3, so we have 5 plus 3 times n minus 3. So, t sub n is equal to 3n plus 2. 
So to, to get the 10th term, t sub 10 equals 3 times 10 plus 2, which is equal to 30 plus 2, 32. So t sub 25 is equal to 3 times 25 plus 2. So 3 times 25 is 75 plus 2, which is equal to 77. So that's all for today. Please, uh, okay, that's all for today. Uh, do not forget to subscribe and wait for the next part of this video. Thank you and God bless.